It is no longer news that top AI detectors like Erniton detected Quillbot and AI paraphrasing. However, I have consistently used Quillbot and had 0% AI scores. If you want to know how, keep watching. Hello, intellects. Welcome back to another insightful time. This video is divided into two parts. The first part will show you how to use Quillbot to avoid or remove plagiarism from your project reports, dissertations, essays, research papers, and any other writing. Even though Quillbot is typically detected now by plagiarism and AI detectors, the first part of this video will show you how I got a 0% AI score and very low plagiarism levels in all these papers while using original sources and AI. The second part will show you how to use Quillbot to avoid AI detection even when using ChatGPT or any generative AI like Claude AI. If you love Quillbot like me, then this video is for you. Quillbot has always been the best rewriter to avoid plagiarism until the advent of ChatGPT and the Erniton AI detector. I say this because, like I said earlier, top AI detectors detects AI paraphrasing. But don't worry, in less than five minutes, you will see how to avoid getting caught by top plagiarism checker and AI detector, even with ChatGPT. Just watch this video to the end without skipping any part of this video. Let us begin now. Part one. Let us assume I want to cite a few research articles on Google Scholar, but I still have very low plagiarism levels. In this case, I will copy some paragraphs here. This is an example. You must cite all sources in your research papers and essays. I will copy a significant part because the world's top AI detector does not produce AI results for less than 500 words. The selected text has a 100% plagiarism level, while the AI score is 0%. Move over to Quillbot. Click on the academic mode over here. If you cannot find this mode, search for it in the custom button over here. Paste your text and paraphrase it in the academic mode on Quillbot first. Now, this mode will remove plagiarism, but it could yield an AI score. However, sometimes you may be lucky and get a 0% AI score. So I will show you what to do to always be on the safe side. But first, let's quickly see the plagiarism level when we use only the academic mode. I will submit it here. I can't show a screen recording of the results because I have been having copyright infringement problems with Erniton on my channel. Plagiarism was 53% and AI is 0%. This is rather high, although plagiarism levels are usually high in shorter text, as in this example. Moreover, although the AI score is 0% here, the academic mode is usually detected at AI. In fact, when I checked the copy leaks AI detector here, it was a 90.2%. Therefore, to reduce this plagiarism significantly, at least to a green score, paraphrase again, but this time with the shortened mode on Quillbot. I will delete this and set the mode to the shortened mode. Put the synonym icon at the first level or no level. The higher the synonym icon, the more it will sound like AI. You do not want to be detected by a top, world-recognized AI detector for AI paraphrasing. Edit the text a little by clicking on specific words or phrases and replacing them with their synonyms. The idea is to ensure you have more red text. Red text means words have been changed significantly. Blue means the longest unchanged words, while black color means the words have not changed. Therefore, when you have more red colors, you are likely to pass any plagiarism test. Let us move over to the top AI plagiarism and AI detector for check. Meanwhile, in this era of generative AI, your lecturers and examiners want to see some level of similarity in the plagiarism score. You should not be aiming for 0% plagiarism levels anymore. Your lecturers must be assured that you used original sources from scholarly databases and didn't rely on AI. The results is 14%. This is good. If you have longer text, this method will give you as little as 5% similarity, the AI score is 0%. If you love this method, write no more plagiarism or AI in the comment section below. Part two, using Quillbot to humanize ChatGPT content. I love Quillbot despite how easily detected. This is because Quillbot does not significantly change the word's meaning when paraphrasing as some humanizers do. Besides, it is relatively cheap. Okay, I asked ChatGPT to write a 1000 word essay on e-recruitment. I told it to try to sound less like AI. 
If you must use Quillbot to humanize AI-generated content, prompt it to sound less like AI or more like a human. Copy the generated text and move over to Quillbot. I will set it to the shorten mode. This mode has a lower tendency to be detected. I will increase the synonym icon to the first level. Paste text here. I will remove this funny looking heading. It sounds a lot like AI and paraphrase. Go through the paraphrase text, reading and editing. You can sometimes replace certain sentences with suggestions like this or use the expand mode. The expand mode on Quillbot is good too, but you should use it rarely. There are some phrases or sentences that you may have to rewrite yourself because of how they sound. Another thing you should do while editing is to remove the majority of the modal verbs that express possibility, like may. Generative AI frequently uses them, and AI detectors know that. The next stage is to paraphrase the text again to guarantee a 0% AI score. Copy the paraphrase text and paraphrase again. This time, use no level in the shorten mode. You should edit a little more. I will delete this conclusion because even if you have no AI score, your examiner will immediately know you used AI when they see this. Let us quickly check the paper. Beautiful. The plagiarism level is 1% and the AI is 0%. Even though I can show you screenshots of the results to avoid copyright problems on YouTube, you can trust that I will not present any false information. If you need further clarifications, voice your concerns in the comments section and I will explain. If you will try this method out, comment thank you in the comments section below. You should always check your papers before final submission. For members of my channel, I offer 4-5 to five free checks monthly. You can join my channel for a token. Meanwhile, if you get an asterisk sign, which means your AI score is less than 20%, you can repeat this process to get a 0% AI score. I have consistently used these methods on Quillbot and had a 0% AI score on top AI detectors. All right, intellects, let's draw the curtains here. Please like, comment, and share. Your support motivates me to make more helpful videos. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Be safe. Bye.